Let's recover your Snapchat account without the email or phone number. Now, if you're trying to log into your Snapchat account, but you don't have access to the phone number associated with your account or the email address, I'm gonna show you different options you can take to get it back. Of course, we'll open up the Snapchat app here and hit that login. Now, by far the easiest thing that you can do is hit that forgot password button right there. And it says, how do you wanna reset your password either by phone number or by email address? So all of the options to recover and get your account back if you don't have one of these two are not very great. They take a while and potentially you might never get the account back. So you really wanna try as hard as you can to be able to get access to that phone number or get access to that email address. Maybe you need to change the, either the password on that email address or you need to figure out some way to get that phone number or to be able to text and receive codes from that phone number. So go through this process and try to get access to one of these two. If you really can't get access to these and you need to reset your password to get into the account, there's one other option you have. Let's go into a web browser here and I just typed in Snapchat support form into Google. So the very first one, submit a request, I can go into there and it gives me some options. It says, the second one, I can't access my account. And then it says, okay, tell us more. And you can go through here and it says, I forgot my password. And it'll bring up this request and it says, you can reset your password obviously through your phone number or email address. But it says at the bottom, do you still need help? And you can say yes. Now this is where you can enter in the username, the email address that you use to sign up for it, even if you don't have access to it anymore, the mobile number, the phone number that you use to sign up for Snapchat. And then at the bottom here, you can enter in a description. This is where you'll describe why you don't have access to that phone number or that email address, why they should help you recover it. And I would offer in here to be able to send them a government ID, like a driver's license or a passport photo, so they can verify you are actually the owner of that specific account, even though you don't have access to the email or the phone number that was associated with that account. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below, and I'll catch you on the next one.